And good afternoon to you. I'm Storm Team Meteorologist Dave Nussbaum. Our forecast today, well, not looking too bad so far. You can see some overcast sky over top of downtown Birmingham, seen from our BJCC camera now. 85 degrees out there. Sure, it's very warm, but the humidity at 51% because our dew point, not too bad. It's a little bit muggy at 65, but notice the heat index only one degree higher at 86 degrees out there. It's 84 in Anderson, 83 there over in Asheville. Jasper is at 88, a warm spot with Tuscaloosa at 86, Alabaster at 83, and 82 from Clanton to Alex City now. And you can see those dew points in the 60s here, really from by I 20 northward. You go south of that, we're in the 70s. That's where the muggier air is, and that's where we do have a front kind of sitting across the area. So if you're heading out to the pool this afternoon to try to keep cool, uh, do be aware that we do have some scattered storms are possible today, maybe not as widespread as yesterday. Temperatures still going to get up to around 89 degrees out there. Remember, if you hear that thunder, you need to get out of the pool immediately. We'll get to 90s there from Tuscaloosa to Mountainville, 88 Jasper to Fayette, Gadsden, Asheville, Anderson area, Talladega to Alabaster, about 87 today. And on average, our high should be 90, so we're about right where we need to be for this time of year. But you can see the chance for rain from Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, back over towards Springville, Asheville, Gadsden area, about 40%, and then to the south, down to 60%. You go up to the northwest here, a little lower chance for rain at only around 10 to 20 percent for the day today. So much of that area will stay dry. Now, 60 to 40 percent chance of rain really up and down all the way into the upcoming 4th of July weekend. So we're not going to see a washout every day, but we are going to dodge some scattered showers and storms. Right now, just a few clouds across the area with our one front to our south and mid-level front sitting over top of us, and that'll spark off some storms. And watching also the spin here in the western part of the Gulf. That's Invest 95. That's going to be working its way into Texas, but the moisture from it coming our way and maybe some of the remnants of it could work away into our area next week. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. Behind that, we're also watching a wave out in the Atlantic. Low chance for development, nothing we need to worry about. And we also still have a potential tropical cyclone, too, which is going to hug the South American coastline here, potentially becoming a hurricane moving into Nicaragua, but not till this weekend. Again, no impact to us, but that's some good news for our area. But we are going to see some pop up storms again this afternoon. You can see here from after this afternoon, some downpours possible across the region here, most of them along in south of Interstate. State 59. By dinner time, they're gone and heading on into tonight. Looks like pretty much quiet weather. Maybe a couple stray showers as you go farther off to the east of us, but not too far away uh, to tomorrow. We will see those scattering of storms popping up again. Hit miss, few and far between, nothing too widespread for our area, but we're going to still have to dodge those on and off all the way through the end of the work week and for the 4th of July weekend too. But most of the rain should come to an end by 8 o'clock. So looking for those fireworks shows this weekend, not too bad.